church has learned to make things happen on the natural side But all our buildings and our programs have not turned the tide This is warfare and our weapons, faith, the word, and love Just need a fresh anointing from above We need an old-fashioned, heaven-sent, Holy Ghost revival touching me Touching you We need a sinner racing Restoration Holy Ghost revival Send it on Our souls renew Hello everyone, this is Reverend Johnny Lee Clary And welcome to Johnny Lee TV Did you know that God will give back to you Whatever the devil has stolen? Jesus himself said in John 10, 10 The thief, that's Satan Comes to steal, kill, and to destroy but I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Now, you see, the thing about it is, is that the devil is described as the thief. Him and his emissaries, his little demons, whether they come in disguise of just, uh, you know, whether they just come as outright robbers and thieves or whether they come disguised as a, as a false prophet or a false teacher trying to get you uh, from listening to the true message of God, which is Jesus Christ and the cross being preached. He tries to get you off into all this motivational self-help stuff and all that. You know, that that's not a God, folks. But the truth of the matter is, is that the devil is nothing more than a thief and he comes to steal everything you've got. And, uh, and But Jesus comes to give you life and to give it more abundantly. Now, as a believer, you can get back whatever is stolen from you. Now, a lot of people say, well, Jesus said, ask anything and it'll be given to you. No, they're not, they're not telling you the whole thing, okay? Now, I want to tell you what the whole scripture says. And this is found in John 15, 7. I'm going to read to you from the Expositor Study Bible. Okay, now this is the Crossfire Edition. And you can get these, uh, the Crossfire Edition or just the regular Expositor Study Bible uh, from uh, JSM.org. The best study Bible you'll ever read in your life. I guarantee you that. But uh, uh, anyway, chapter 15 of John, verse 7. Jesus said this. He said, if you abide in me. That's keeping your faith in Christ and the work he did on the cross. It's conditional. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask, now listen to this, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. That's conditional, folks. That is absolutely conditional. His words have to abide in you. Now, it doesn't matter how big or how small the item that, that it was that got stolen from you, you know what? He cares. He really does. And I'll tell you why. Because 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Cast your cares upon him, for he cares for you. It doesn't say only cast your big cares. It doesn't say only cast the little cares. It says cast your cares. So whatever you care about, he cares about because he's a loving God. He's full of grace and mercy, which endureth forever. And he cares about what you care about. He wants to see you happy, no matter what. So the truth of the matter is, is that whatever the devil has taken from you, you cast that care upon Jesus. He'll give it back. Now, some of you, I'm going to give you an example here. And some of you is going to think this is just downright silly. Personally, I don't care what you think, okay? If you think it's silly, that's just fine with me, whatever you want to think. Because you know what? People will get something out of this. I know that they will. And and, and it's not silly to me. It really meant something. When I was a little boy, I, I'm from Dell City, Oklahoma, but my family purchased a house in Midwest City, Oklahoma, which is a, a town right next door to Dell City. And when I was a little boy, um, I had to go to kindergarten, first grade, and most of second grade at Sooner Elementary School. And I had the meanest teacher any little kid could ever want. Her name was Mrs. Kelly, and I will never forget her. Mrs. Kelly was my teacher all day long in the second grade. And that woman was, oh my gosh, she was so hateful toward me. And can you imagine being hateful toward a little seven-year-old kid? She just absolutely could not tolerate me and hated me. And she was constantly screaming at me and yelling at me and paddling me and everything else, you know. And uh, and she couldn't stand the sight of me. Well, I I was a big fan when I was a little boy of, do you all remember those little clay figures called Gumby and Pokey? Gumby was the, uh, was the green man and Pokey was the orange horse. And, uh, and they had a, they was on TV and, and I was just, I just loved Gumby and Pokey when I was a kid. And, um, and my grandparents had taken me out one weekend shopping and they bought me a little, two little rubber, uh, uh, figures of Gumby and Pokey. And I was so excited to have them and I took them to school with me. 
And I was sitting at my desk, and I never will forget this girl either. Her name was Beth, and she sat at the desk next to me. And I was playing with my little Gumby and Pokey on my desk, and she says, can I see those? And I said, sure. And so I like to share, so I went ahead and decided to share my toys with her. And she takes the toys and raises her hand. She says, Mrs. Kelly, Johnny Lee is bothering me with these, uh, these little rubber things. And Mrs. Kelly came and snatched them up and took off. And she wouldn't give them back to me. I went home and I told my mom. And my mom called and she said, I want my son's toys back. He wants his uh, little Gumby and Pokey back. And she goes, I threw them in the incinerator and I burned them up. He will never see them again. And my mom says, his grandparents bought those for him. And uh, she goes, well, I'll try to have them replaced. And she never did. And at the end of the year, my family uh, bought a house over there in Dell City. And so, uh, and this was about a month before the school year ended and we had to move. So I got transferred over into East Oak uh, Terrace Elementary, where I went through elementary school. And, uh, but the truth of the matter is I, I, that woman hated me so bad and she destroyed those little toys. And that really broke my heart because I love those toys. My grandparents would take the time to buy that for me. And I, I said, well, I'll never see the Gumby and Pokey again. Well, all these years later, me and my wife, we went to Branson, Missouri, uh, just a couple of months ago and we were shopping in a five and dime store. I haven't seen a five and five and dime store since I was a little kid. Uh, there used to be one called TG and Y in Bell city, Oklahoma. I think that's the last one I ever saw. And they got this five and dime store in Branson, Missouri, downtown Branson. We're walking through that store and my gosh, they had all kinds of things, toys, lunch boxes, you name it, that goes all the way back to the fifties and sixties and seventies. You wouldn't believe the stuff they had in there. And right there staring at me, you know, I was thinking about Gumby and Pokey and thinking about what Miss Kelly did and right there staring at me. I mean, my jaw dropped. And there it was. All them years had passed by. And right here, folks, was Gumby and Pokey. See that? All right, there's Gumby. There's Pokey. And I mean, right there. I still got it in the box. I haven't taken it out of the box yet. But this is an exact replica of what my grandparents bought me when I was a little boy. And God restored that to me. I know some of you are thinking that's silly. But the truth of the matter is, you know, God cares about little things. And I got my Gumby and Pokey, okay? Now, you can get your Gumby and Pokey, or you can get whatever the devil has stolen from you. All you have to do is abide in God and let his word abide in you and cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. He's going to restore. This is Reverend Johnny Lee Clary saying, God bless you, each and every one of you. We need an old-fashioned, heaven-sent, Holy Ghost revival touching me, touching, me, touching you. Touching you.